Hi everybody, it's Slovenia and welcome to my channel. Today I just wanted to show you using my melting pot from Ranger on how I make one of the Christmas charms that I'm going to be doing for my art charm holiday bracelet. And this is a sample of what I'm going to be making today. So it is this bezel which I got at Hobby Lobby, the jewelry shop. They were having, I think they were 50% off last week. So it was a set of four, I think. So I'm going to be using this bezel. I'm going to be using this from Recollections. I bought this several years ago. Uh, Blue Blaze Sparkle Embossing Powder. And let's see. So that, and then I will be using my UT or my ultra thick embossing enamel from Melt Art. So I will also be using that in here. So I have my melting pot going on. So uh, it goes from off, I have it all the way to the high setting. I'm going to take the cover off. And what I'm going to do is first put in the bezel, that little finding in there. And I have this little tiny spoon plastic spoon and I'm going to take here are the recollections so this is what it looks like it's just embossing powder Let's see if you can see it there so see that's what it looks like and I'm just going to take a little bit and start dropping that in and you can see it's starting to melt I'm just going to fill that up. And as it melts, you can see more of that sparkle. So I have with a pair of tweezers here, I'm just going to turn that around. This gets very hot. In fact, here the high setting says 300. So it's here it says UT, which is for ultra thick embossing enamel. So it's much higher than the 350. You can also use this to, um, I haven't, but I've heard that you can also use it as um, an oven, so to speak, to bake your polymer clay. So let's see, so that's melting there. Curie's on her way here, come on, get down. Move, 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 it's hot here. Move, get down. I just don't want her to come here. Okay, so that's melting there. She has the back patio door open, but she wants to go out into the backyard to see the birds and that's going to be a no. <laughs> Every once in a while she'll come in and meow but it's too cold for me, not for her. <laughs> she has longer fur. Okay, so I think that will be it that I'm gonna have that melt through. So I'm not sure if you can see, but you could probably see it melting there. Okay, and now I'm going to take this charm here. It's just a snowflake charm. It had a hook. So I took that off, so just here, there's a little bit of a difference, but we'll just put that in there, that's okay. Well, let's see, we'll just drop it in. Actually, I think maybe what I'll do is I will take it out of the oven. I'm going to place it here on the On the cover because that's all metal as well. Get this cord out of the way. So that will give it a chance to cool off, which is fine because you can then, even though it's cooled off, if you could, you could always put it back into the melting pot and that will melt the embossing powder. So I'm just going to try and get that there. 
and that's fine. And these handles stay cool. And you feel a little bit of warmth, but it's not as hot as, as you can see here. You know, that indicator turns red, meaning that it's back on. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that back on there. And I just want to add a little bit of the UT just to make sure that that seals through. So it's not, it's almost like a resin, but it's not. And I just want to cover my other there. And I've cleaned off my spoon because I don't want to mix the blue into the clear. So I'm just going to take a little bit here. Let's take a little bit of this. I'm just going to put a little bit on there just so that kind of seals it. like that. As you can see that moves around and I think that's good enough. So now I'm just going to take it out and just let it cool. Just see if I can show you. So, so as you can see that's what it will look like. So this again is going to be put on my charm for my charm bracelet. So if you haven't subscribed yet and wanted to take a look at that video, once I reach 100 subscribers, I will be doing the raffle drawing for my 100 subscriber giveaway for my art charm bracelet. So again, this is one of the charms that will be on that bracelet. And I will be showing in my next video how I made the Christmas tree. That little paper bead Christmas tree it's also using the UT so that you can take a look at that and then here it is actually like this the Christmas tree so it'll be hanging from the um, charm bra bracelet from here and then I just use some seed beads to make a garland like that so that'll be my next video but I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you subscribe, like, share. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. It's still a little bit hot, so I can't take it off um, or put it in my palm. It's still a little bit warm, but let me see if maybe I can take it here with the, with the tweezers to just bring it a little bit more up close so that you can take a look. See if it'll get in focus. It's still a little bit out of focus, but it's very pretty. I like the colors, that blue sparkle in there. Okay, there we go. Very pretty. So again, I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. And again, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave that in the comments section below. Take care, everybody. Bye.